Welcome back everyone and for this weekend, which actually starts today since it's Saturday. This afternoon we're going to have sunny skies, temperature of 67 degrees. As we head into tonight, we'll see our temperatures drop down into the 40s. So we'll actually be milder on Saturday night going into early Sunday morning. And then for tomorrow on Sunday, we'll have a mix of sunshine and clouds. I do think the rain chances will hold off until Sunday night as we have that warm front push through the area 68 degrees and looking ahead over the next seven days as we go into Monday 76 degrees and we'll actually see 73 on Tuesday. So we'll actually start off mostly dry for the start of the work week on Wednesday. We'll encounter some showers both at the beginning and the end of the day and then on Thursday we'll have a break from the rain and another chance for some showers on Friday. But temperatures by that point will be average to above average with our low temperatures in the 50s. Brandon, Devin. All right, thanks, Ulysses. Looks like we've made it through that part of spring where it's just terrible to be outside yeah, I know. shooting sports. Uh, April showers, that's, that's, that's where we're at yeah, right and now. And the wind and the cold <laughs> and all that stuff. Looks like 70s pretty much all week. That's great. <laughs> all right, now let's take a look at the games you can see tomorrow. I should say later tonight. I'm sorry, Ulysses. Uh, later tonight, first we have a matchup in Lewis. Cape Henlopen puts their nine-game winning streak on the line against Apoquinimink. The Jaguars 12 and 0, the lone unbeaten team in the state of Delaware who has played at least two games. The game starts at noon and you can follow Cole Howard for updates and that should be a great one. And I'll be right down the road at Seagull Stadiums. The ladies take the field at noon against conference rival Christopher Newport and the men take the field at three right after. Senior day ceremonies taking place before the opening faceoff. I believe these are both the season finales for both the men's and women's teams. Yeah, the season finale for both the men's and the women's. The women's team uh, currently second in the nation. The men's team currently third in the nation. You can see Cross Ferreira go out there and try and score some more goals. Add to his already Salisbury record, 250 goals. That is absolutely incredible. One final home game for Cross and for the Lady Gulls. All right, we are all out of time tonight. But as always, thank you so much for tuning in. And be sure to keep up with us all weekend, all over social media. We will and, be active. And we will see you next time.